Katerina's wife. If it would please him, can I marry her? Oh, would Katerina never seen him? Well, girl, I cannot blame thee now for weeping, for such an injury would vex the very saint. Much more shrew of thy impatient humor. <laughs> master, master, news, old news, and such news you've never heard of. Is it old and new too? How can that be? Why is it not news to hear that a true girl's coming? Is he coming? Why, no, sir. What then? He is coming. When will he be here? He stands where I am and sees you there. But say, what should I do? Why, but Kukio is coming in an old hat and a new jerkin, and a pair of breeches that have been thrice turned, a pair of boots that have been candle cased, one buckled and the other laced, an old rusty sword from the town armory with a broken hilt and two broken points. His horse is hipped with an old moppy saddle and stirrups of no interest. Who comes with me? Why, so is lackey. For the world comparison like the horse, with a lace stocking on one leg and a cursy boot hose on the other, garden with a red and blue ribbon, his hat with a bent feather, a monster, a very monster in apparel, and nothing like a Christian footboy or gentleman's lackey. I'm glad he's come how so early he comes. Why, sir? He come not. Did you not say he comes? Why? The Petruchio came? Aye, the Petruchio came. Nay, I say his horse comes with him on his back. <laughs> Why, that's all the one. <laughs> Nay, by St. Jamie, I told you a penny. A horse and a man is who their warning, yet not many. Where be these parents? Who's at home? Well, welcome, sir. How does my father? 